Good happy Tuesday morning. Happy snowy Tuesday morning. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. New Hampshire DOT prepares for major snowstorm impacting regions. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9, Siobhan Lopez. This is his pie. Brown bag and lunch is something going out. Six dollars saved times five days a week times ten years is twenty-one thousand bucks. That's a lot of letters. Small changes today, big bucks tomorrow. Feedthepig.org. Gassing up to fill snowblowers, generators, and their cars. People are preparing for a major snowstorm. Obviously, the nice weather we've had the past couple of weeks is preferred, but we always seem to get nailed sometime in March, so uh, kind of getting prepared for it. I've already canceled clients for tomorrow and, you know, getting gas and went to the grocery store to buy some good food. DOT is ready, but because of the timing of the storm, they won't be pre-treating the roads ahead of it. The snow is really hitting as the commute is well underway, and we hope that the traffic will actually blow this dry snow off the road and not have any snow sticking to it, which you might get with a pre-treatment. It's been an expensive winter so far. DOT has already spent over $46 million, more than many past winter seasons. Thanks to a $9 million transfer from the state highway fund approved by the legislature, we're about 77% through our budget and about 72% through our winter calendar. After a quiet few weeks without any major snowfall, many were thinking and some hoping that winter was over. I kind of did, so a little surprised, but not. We live in New England, so we should expect it, right? Not happy at all. Just give me a break here. Spring, come. We're in good shape. We're ready to roll, and uh, we'll be out there all day. Well, DOT says there is enough salt and supplies in storage to last them through this storm and any other snow that may fall. They're urging people to stay off of the roads, if at all possible, as the snow could fall at a rate of several inches per hour. We're live in Bedford tonight. Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that report and video. Let us know what it's like if you are out and about driving this morning. Let us know what it looks like on those roadways. We want to hear from you. And try to stay off the roads if you can, everyone. One dead after car crashes and two tree catches fire. A man died after a fiery crash overnight in Berkeley, police said. The crash happened at around midnight on Joharm Street. The vehicle caught fire after hitting a tree. A med flight was called but could not respond because of weather. The victim's name has not been released. No other details about the crash were released by police. Nor'easter cancels flights, snarls travel across Maine. Let's take a listen to this video from WMTW David Charns. Your screen is your window to the world, so why wouldn't you want one that's virtually borderless? The Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 with an infinity edge display, as real as it gets. Boards right now, we got the arrival, several of those canceled, some delayed. Uh, even though there hasn't been any snow right now, but why is that? Let me show you over the middle. Let me sh channel my inner Roger Griswold here. Oh, there it, there's tomorrow's nightmare coming at us, making, uh, making some headaches out of the middle part of the country. As far as tonight's departures, everything is on time or delayed, but we got one cancellation heading to uh, Washington National later tonight. But if you check the uh, departures for tomorrow, everything tomorrow morning in the 5 a.m. hour seemed to be already canceled, if not delayed. Uh, we did talk to one woman who was heading south where it's warm and there's no snow. Listen to this. 
we're headed to Disney World in Florida in Orlando. Good time to go. Yeah, it's the best time of the year. The weather should be perfect all week. So my husband's going to be very pleased with me when he has to take care of all the snow all by himself. <laughs> How come the husband doesn't get to go to Disney World with her? What gives there? Uh, we also want to mention that tomorrow night's, Tuesday night's, uh, two evening Amtrak Down Easter trains have been canceled, but uh, otherwise all the trains tomorrow and Wednesday are right now planning to run on schedule. That's the latest live here from the Jetport, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8. Okay, and there you go on that report in video. We're following some breaking news this morning in the business world. Early movers, D-I-S-G-L-W-D-G-X-D-S-W-M-G-I-A-B-T, and more. Walt Disney, Disney was upgraded to buy from nature at Gunhamma which seems the company's new contract offering new perk attractions ca caution regarding its TV networks. <coughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Stock index feature fall as oil prices slide. U.S. stock index feature appointed to a lower open on Tuesday morning as traders eyed a continued decline in oil prices and a probable March rate hike. Syria winter storm bears down on the northeast. Let's take a listen to this video from ABC News. With aches and pains with Advil PM, then with Tylenol PM. Advil PM combines the number one pain reliever with the number one sleep aid. Gentle, non-habit forming Advil PM for a healing night's sleep. With Advil, you'll ask, what twisted ankle? What muscle strain? Advil makes pain a distant memory. Nothing works faster, stronger, or longer. What pain? Advil. Team coverage across the Northeast. Ginger Z starts us off right here in Times Square. Good morning, Ginger. Hey, good morning, guys. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is sleet mixing into our snow already here in New York City, which I think we've got about three, four inches. It is heavy. It is wet. And I've seen reports up to four and even five inches just north and west. And north and west is going to be key. Let me take you straight into the warnings first. Because we've got freeze warnings in the south, but it's those blizzard warnings that have been extended to Scranton, Pennsylvania, through the Hudson Valley, western Massachusetts, and Connecticut. That's where we believe the heaviest snow totals will eventually fall. Why? Well, let's look at this. The radar happening right now. Snow you see in New York City, but that wintry mix has already overtaken Philadelphia. Washington, D.C. had a mix over and even rain and mist at times. So the closer you are to the coast, the lower your snow totals. That's how it's been positioned the whole time, but just a couple of miles makes a huge difference. Look at the 12 to 24 region. Anywhere that has elevation is going to see some of those numbers top even two feet into parts of New England. And I wanted to quickly say the most important part on top of the snow and the rain in the ice is the wind. If you have a gust of 60 to 58 miles per hour there in New Haven, 51 in Boston, visibility is going to be low. It's going to be a very difficult day. Let's get to Rob Marciano, who right now is in Philadelphia. We've been texting this morning. I know you have some sleep earlier. What do you have now, Rob? It's still going off, uh, Ginger, turned to uh, sleet just a few hours ago, and it's become quite painful. Behind me, that's Independence Hall. The road's here, about three to four inches of snow, a little bit slushy, thankfully, because uh, uh, because they pre-treated. Obviously, we're right on the rain snow line with the temperature right at the freezing mark. Uh, that makes all the difference for sure. This is a complicated, massive system, already slammed the Midwest, and now it is turning into a messy monster of a storm for the Northeast. This morning, the strengthening blizzard beating down on the northeast from Pennsylvania to Maine. A treacherous morning commute, whiteout conditions turning major highways like I-95 into
into slip and slides. That was almost a wipe out. And in Brooklyn, a car spinning out into a guardrail. I'm very worried. It is bad. Snow plows scrambling to keep up. It's nasty out here. But the white stuff falling faster than the salt can be spread. This should be a, a very serious blizzard. One that everyone should take seriously. New York City bracing for 10 to 15 inches transformed 2,000 garbage trucks into snow plows, struggling to keep the 6,000 miles of streets clear. Governors declaring states of emergency in New York, Maryland, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Every report we've had on this is it's going to snow hard and fast for a long period of time, and it will create whiteout conditions. The coastline could see wind gusts over 60 miles per hour later today. And we're certainly feeling those winds that pick up here in Philadelphia where a snow emergency is in place. We do have mass transit that's running, albeit slowly, but uh, basically what the emergency says, you got to get your cars off the road or they're going to be towed because they want these plows to try at least to keep these roads clear. Our affiliate uh, showing us some footage of the roads here in Philadelphia. As mentioned, most of them are uh, pr pretty slushy, but this sleet is going to turn back over to snow later on today, and we'll see more in the way of accumulation. 400 pieces of snow re removal equipment here in this city, another 200 at the airport, where most of the airlines have halted operations uh, for the day. The record snow for March for a day here in Philly, by the way, is 11.7 inches back in the storm of the century of 1993 with the sleet mixing in. Ouch. <laughs> I don't think we're going to hit that, but it's just a few miles north of here in the suburbs. A foot easily, maybe two, is possible. Okay, and there you go on that report. Everyone should be safe in this storm. Please stay safe today, everyone. And that does it for the Riley King Newscast. I hope you all have a great rest of your Tuesday and see you back here later on today. Goodbye.